So what does a hippie from the 60s have in regards to experience of this sort of thing? Combat Marine. I believe three tours in Vietnam, 72 to 75, more than qualifies me. That's a scene from the new movie, The Keeper. It's based on a true story, and some veteran hikers stop to help a fellow veteran who's on a mission while facing his own battles. And joining me now is Angus Benfield. He is the co-director and star in The Keeper. Welcome. It's so good to have you. Yeah, thanks for having me. And um, for folks that haven't seen the story yet, give us an idea. What is this really about? Well, yeah, it's a true story of George Eshelm, who is an mm -hmm. army vet. Mm -hmm. who uh, decided to hike the Appalachian Trail or do a through hike, which mm -hmm. is like six months of hiking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's never, he never had done it before. And mm -hmm. uh, the, the reason why he was doing that, he wanted to take the name tapes of mm -hmm. veterans who had committed suicide. So those are about 363 name tapes. Um, and that's when you see in the movie, they're on a loop and mm -hmm. we'll thread through there. And so that was his plan was to, to mm -hmm. go and raise awareness mm -hmm. uh, for the veteran suicides. However, uh, George was also going through his own struggles mm. because he had obviously was in the war in mm -hmm. Iraq and came back and he had a lot of PTSD. Mm -hmm. And so he wasn't really going to fulfill that hike. He was mm -hmm. going to also take his own life and be oh, wow. the, another name to those name tapes. Wow. But something happened and he um, decided to keep going. And wow. so that's what he's been doing ever since. And yeah. he's still, still with us, thank God. And, yes, um, yes. Yeah, and that's the story. Yeah. And what drew you to this project? Well, I, I, I read the script and I, uh, I didn't know George or Todd the writer mm -hmm. and I was just really moved by it. And mm -hmm. I just, it's something that I'm, even though I, I'm not a, I don't have any uh, military background or mm -hmm. anything, but I'm certainly, uh, you know, I'm really aware of, you know, the struggles of mental health mm -hmm. and, you know, what mm -hmm. people go through and anxieties and depression and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I just really wanted to make a film that raised awareness of that. Mm -hmm. Plus also, you know, I just thought that it's a true story and it needs to be told. And I just, you know, really wanted to help mm -hmm. get George's story out, which is, you know, when I met George, it was like, this is somebody I really want to, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, was there some story. pressure though to play George <laughs> and he's watching you in the role? Is that, is that yeah, a little? I mean, he was there every day. <laughs> so mm -hmm. yeah. thankfully George is a really lovely person and he wasn't giving me notes every five minutes. And mm -hmm. um, he, he certainly, uh, kept me at ease and stuff mm -hmm. and he was very encouraging. Um, you know, I, I, so I kind of tried to do a, a version of George and not, mm -hmm. not too kind of yes. you know, mimicking him or anything. And so, and he was, seemed happy with that. So um, yeah, no, but it was great having him there. It was actually yes. uh, more encouraging than anything. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah have him part and, of it. Mm -hmm. and the movie came out in theaters on Memorial Day and that's it's right. back, it's streaming. Yes, that's and right. have you heard much reaction about it when it yeah. came out in theaters? Oh yeah, we've been getting an amazing uh, response from, especially from veterans mm -hmm. and veteran mm -hmm. family members of veterans who watch it. Mm -hmm. um, and people watch it multiple times yeah. too. And it's kind of like a bit of a therapy mm -hmm. session watching the film. Um, the way we told the story was in a, in a very linear you know, form. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't really like lots of, car chases or anything, yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of yeah. thing. It's, it's exactly what George went through and, mm -hmm. and, and it's almost designed to sort of watch it multiple times so mm -hmm. that if you are struggling and you, you just need to put one foot in front of the other, like the yeah. song is at the, at the end, then you can kind of watch it yeah. several yeah. times. But yeah, we're getting amazing response from veterans and their family members who say this is really helping them. Yeah. Um, even some people have, it's really helped sort yes. of almost save their lives. So. Wow. Yeah, so we're great. excited about that. Yeah, well, thank you so much for joining us yeah. and certainly appreciate that you're opening up the dialogue for so yeah. many. Again, The Keeper is now streaming on Prime Video and you can find more information by just going to our website, kcalnews.com, and click Scene on TV.